We are joined now by head coach of the UCCS volleyball team, Coach Chrissy Elder. Congratulations on the good win here tonight. Can I get your initial thoughts after a 3 nothing win here at home against Western State? I'm really proud of our girls. We've been working this whole week on competing and finishing games and stuff like that, and they did just that. So, I mean, those are my initial thoughts. I'm, I'm really proud with, with the things that we learned at practice and then actually did well when it came test time. So, so what was the, the situation with Kim Catlett? She seemed to be much more aggressive here tonight. Was it something that you said to her, or did she just become more aggressive on her own? Because she had a phenomenal match with six kills in the first set, finished with 10 kills, eight digs, hitting at a very high clip. Great match by her. What happened? Did you give her the green light, or did she just take off? <laughs> I think that's funny that you said green light. Just because we've been working with a lot of mental training um, this week, and one of the things that we're working with is kind of like a stop light analogy, and the green light is a good thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, in a way, I guess I gave her a green light, but she's been working really hard on her own to um to get to that point and and she's been over the course of the last two weeks really coming into her own with being aggressive and figuring it out and and i think that this was just an indicator of this week was a good week for her figuring that out and she's doing a great job so the first set was back and forth back and forth the entire time very close set the second set the team came out and the mountain lions dominated as i think many of the fans might have expected but what was going on during the intermission what did you tell the team in an effort to close things out because if we reflect back a few weeks ago you were in a very similar situation against Colorado Mines up two to nothing and they came back and took that one here at home so what did you tell the girls or the team in the intermission to make sure that that didn't happen again here tonight um, I really didn't say anything in their intermission they were talking when I got into the locker room and they were pretty pumped up and essentially just told them to keep doing what they were doing because they were doing such a great job, um, especially in game two, that, I mean, if we're talking stop sign or stop light, I, I just gave them the green light, like, go finish the game. Um, and I think that they're, they're bright enough kids to, to remember the Minds game and how it felt and, and not want that to happen again at home. So, um, yeah, they, they got the green light and they took care of it. Were you surprised at all that the first and third sets were as closely contested as they were? Or did you kind of expect this to be a very good back and forth matchup? I expected it to be good. Every team in the RMAC is good. And, and Western is no different. They, they haven't um, succeeded, I think, the way that they would like to in the RMAC. But they're still a really good team. And I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they won a game um, or a match against any of the good teams in the RMAC. They're still a great team. Um, so I wasn't surprised with the back and forth. Um, I was just happy with my team for finishing, for sure. What do you take from this matchup as more of the bright spots for the team or things that you can continue to try to implement looking forward to tomorrow's match against Adam State or any other matchup this season? What did you see that you really want to continue to see from the team? The aggressiveness. Definitely the aggressiveness, um, especially in serve receive. We've been working on our serve receive um, or our side out percentage rate, and um, we did we did what we were supposed to do tonight. If we can keep doing that, there are not very many teams that will be able to beat us, um, or we'll have to make them work harder to beat us. So um, that was the biggest I think thing that I I took away from tonight. If we can do that and successfully continue to do that, then we'll we'll finish out the season exactly where we want to be. What are your thoughts for the battle at the net? The team comes in third in the RMAC for blocks per set, and that held true here again tonight. Three blocks in the first set, four in the second, and in the third. It was a block party out there for the Mountain Lions. So what are your thoughts on that battle at the net? Um, we, I, I think it's awesome because we haven't really, per se, practiced blocking a whole lot. I mean, we do a lot of blocking, obviously, in scrimmages and six-on-six -six drills and stuff, but we haven't had a lot of time to just sit down with our front row and practice blocking. It's actually on my notes to do, and if we're in third, I think that's a good thing. But, um, but yeah, I, I think that that's where they get their aggression from because we have, I mean, we do have a naturally tall team, which helps a lot, So and a naturally gifted jumping team with Grace and Kim. So um, I think that's where they get a lot of their aggression out. Um, but I like that they held their own 
offensively as well as defensively at the net tonight too. Well, definitely a great night for the Mountain Lions tonight. But can I get your thoughts on tomorrow's matchup against Adam State, the second match of the three-match homestand, but a big one against the Grizzlies? Can I get your thoughts on tomorrow night's matchup? My thoughts on tomorrow are exactly like they were tonight. We're going to focus on what we're doing because we have got to perfect that. Um, and then whatever they do, we challenge right back. So um, if, we can keep, if we can keep working on what we're doing and do those things well, then I don't care who comes in our gym. I'll, I'll be excited no matter what. So that, that's essentially our game plan is, is work on the things that we need to fix and keep doing the things that we're doing well even better. Excellent. Well, congratulations on the win tonight, and good luck tomorrow night. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Coach.